Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy, very delicious crock pot chicken pot pie soup. This is great for using up leftovers. It's just a really warm meal for a nice cold day and it couldn't be simpler. So let's go. To start, we're going to add our slow cooker liner just to make cleanup way easier. To our crock pot, we're gonna add four cups of water, a couple of teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder, or you could just add one chicken bouillon cube, and then about three cups of frozen hash browns. They could be shredded or cubed. One can of sliced mushrooms, or I had these in the freezer, so we're just gonna use all of them so I can use them up and not waste them. Next up we need to get our chicken. I just bought an entire rotisserie chicken from Costco because I love them and they're cheap and they're delicious. So we're gonna take the string off here and then we're gonna take the skin off and we're gonna shred the chicken into our crock pot. You want about three cups of shredded chicken or turkey. Now that we have our chicken in, we need to go ahead and get our bacon cooked up. Um, it is a lot easier to use bacon bits. Um, I like the real bacon bits from, I believe it's Sam's Club. And I typically like to have pre-cooked bacon in my freezer for things like this, but I'm all out, so we're gonna have to cook some up today. Okay, now that we have our bacon cooked, we're just gonna break it up, kind of crumble it into our crock pot here. You want about three ounces, so if you're using the pre-made bacon bits, just measure out kind of three ounces. But if you really like bacon, you could always add more. This recipe is really flexible, so I really like that. Um, you know, I had maybe not quite three cups of hash browns, but I had more chicken. So just do whatever you've got on hand. This is a great way to use up leftovers especially from you know holidays and things like that all right we're gonna go ahead and turn our crock pot on high we are not going to add the peas cream cheese or cornstarch yet because we'll put that in after about four hours of cooking so that the peas don't get mushy it has been about four hours we're gonna go ahead and check on our soup here it looks like it has really heated up i have a lot of really yummy broth in here the hash browns look nice and soft so i think it is time to add our final few ingredients um, which include frozen peas cream cheese and cornstarch to just kind of thicken this up to more of a chowder consistency so we're going to add in about two cups of frozen peas you can add as many or as few as you like then we are going to cube up some cream cheese just to give it a really delicious creamy consistency and I've let this sit out for just a little bit so it's you know softened up and it won't take so long to melt into our broth here by cubing it you're just making the pieces smaller and easier to melt Get that kind of stirred in here to start melting. Even though we've added cream cheese, it's still pretty watery as you can see, which is why we're doing the next step of cornstarch and water. So we're gonna take a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch and just dissolve it into cold water from the sink. This will help thicken our soup without adding um, another flavor. Um, it's just literally used for a thickening agent. All right, let's pour this in. And stir it. 
Now that we've added our cornstarch, we're going to leave the lid off so that some of the moisture can evaporate and our soup can thicken. Um, we'll leave it here for about 15 minutes and then it should be ready to serve. All right, it has been about 15 minutes. Our soup has definitely thickened up. Once we turn the crock pot off and it starts to cool down, it will thicken even more. So don't be tempted to add more cornstarch because then you will have a very thick kind of slurry. So this looks good to me. So we're gonna finish it off by adding some salt and some black pepper. You don't wanna add the pepper first because pepper can burn pretty easily. So if you add it in at the end, it keeps its flavor and it doesn't taste burnt. All right, now this is ready to go. We can serve this up immediately. This keeps in the refrigerator really well for quite a few days. Um, you could also try freezing this. Everything in here, except the chicken, was frozen beforehand. Frozen chicken doesn't really lose its texture too bad. So this is a really easy one to freeze and reheat later if you have too much like we do here. There's no way we'll be able to eat all of this in a week on top of the other meals we're making. And there we have it. This is so easy. It's so filling. It's so delicious. I hope you guys give this a try. It is also delicious served with a side of biscuits or dinner rolls um, and it tastes even more like a chicken pot pie. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and head over to my channel for more content like this. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.